everybody, welcome to Applash.com's video cast. And uh, today we're talking about the iPhone 4 and the iOS 4. Uh, so we brought in two of our editors, Clash and James, to help us discuss. Hey, yeah, to help us discuss uh, some stuff about the iOS 4 and the iPhone 4, and some of the amazing new features that they uh, put on this uh, revolutionary phone. Uh, number one, FaceTime. Uh, anybody want to take a stab at what they think about FaceTime? All right. So first of all, the name I'm not big on. Maybe it'll grow on us, but seems kind of lame to me. But name doesn't matter as much as what it does. It's pretty cool. It's got Skype-like iPhone video chat. And the problem, my main problem with it, is that it's only over Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure how much I'd use that. If I'm going to have Wi-Fi access, I'm more likely to use my laptop or something like that. I'm not going to go to some public place with Wi-Fi and have a video chat probably because it's just kind of weird. But um, I don't know. It could come in handy once in a while, but I don't think it's going to be a big thing that I'll use all the time. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to invent video calling, something that's been in the minds of people ever since Star Trek with their little video communicators. They're just trying... I think I think this is... You know, they want to put their mark on something. We're, we're going to invent, you know, video calling. But it's only through Wi-Fi, so you're pretty limited. And, uh... I don't know. I don't see this going too far until they take an extra step further. What do you... Like, what do you think, Clash? Okay, uh... The thing with the with the Wi-Fi, I sort of don't have a problem with that because I've never had a 3G device. So, but you know, okay, uh, the same thing with Skype, right? They had the Skype app, and it only worked with Wi-Fi, and it had the same features as the Wi-Fi on the computer, but it didn't have the video call. Now, my take on that, okay, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like the design of the thing. I like the way that the, the face is there and the camera is up front, and it's you know the it's pretty cool, but, well, my computer is pretty portable, too, and it, it has Wi-Fi, and I can video chat with my friends. So I think they're treating this like a, like, a, like a brand new thing, and it's really not like that. But, nonetheless, I think it's a pretty cool feature. But anyways, let's move on to the next feature, which is multitasking. So, uh, multitasking's been around for those who have jailbroken. And, uh, but it's been kind of slow, laggy, um, it eats your battery, battery pretty bad. I'm sure James knows that from experience. Uh, yeah. and, uh, just didn't work very well. Even though there were some pretty, you know, cool innovations over time, it just never really worked really well. Now we have Apple's stab at multitasking, and, uh, it actually looks pretty good. Well, uh, do you remember, like, I think it was like a, or one of our first podcasts, and we were discussing the, the, new, uh, the, the 3.0 that was about to come out, and we were talking about multitasking at the time, and it didn't, you know, came to be. And now they're saying that they're doing it the right way, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, since I have an iPod Touch, multitasking, I have tried that through some, you know, alternative ways and it didn't work at all on my iPod it was just like it, it, okay uh, I had like apps freezing on me all the time so I just gave up but it's something that uh, I've, I've always wanted yeah so a, a, as they are advertising here it's done the right way so I think it's gonna uh, I haven't seen it yet but I think it's gonna work pretty well um yeah but as we saw on the previous Apple conference um the iOS 4 multitasking did look pretty cool they had the CEO of Pandora come out and show how Pandora can run in the background and some cool stuff like that and I you know I look uh, pretty uh, you know I look forward to it uh, but for those on the iPhone 3G which I'm sure all your contracts are up so many of you will probably update to this um, but for those of you who stick on the iPhone 3G multitasking won't be coming your way but uh, still you'll get a uh, iOS 4. It just won't have multitasking and a couple features like that. Uh, I think that's pretty much all you have to say about multitasking. Let's move on to something pretty cool. 
the Retina display. It's uh, 960 by 640. And uh, the cool thing about this is they pack so many pixels into it that the eye can't even distinguish individual pixels. They're so densely packed, the eye cannot distinguish individual pixels, which means that you don't get some of that pixelation that you get with the previous models of the iPhone. And there's actually 326 pixels per inch, and your eyes can only see 300 pixels per inch. Mm -hmm. So they got them. They went beyond what they needed to do to make sure that this is a very crisp image. Uh, and from what I've read in Twitter posts and stuff that I've seen on websites like Engadget and stuff like that, they say it is unbelievably uh, crisp and clean and a huge difference from previous versions of the iPhone and other smartphones on the market. Um, and One of the great things I heard about it is that all the apps that are out there already will automatically have their text and whatnot upgraded so that it looks nice and crisp on the new display without that developers needing to do anything. But the graphics, they obviously have no way of updating. So that if the developers do take advantage of it and update the graphics, though, those will look awesome also. Yeah. And, um, yeah, next we uh, just talk about some of the power. They updated to Apple's A4 chip, which is running the iPad, so we can expect some pretty fast speed in this thing. Um, and they've increased the battery life, which is another cool little thing. Just those are kind of little tweaks that they made. The the glass, which is, what, 30 times stronger than plastic? Yep. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're advertising something about it. It's, uh, it's the same glass they use in, like, helicopters and, you know, like, stuff like that. So, yeah. Ultra flexible, so I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of those cracks and stuff in the glass and that we used to uh, see. Not only on the front, but also on the back. On the back. But uh, the final cool thing that are some of the main features that it has is the HD video recording. Um, so 720p HD, which means it's on level with the Flip Minnow HD, right? 720p. Yep, 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second. Um, and you'll be able to shoot video in 720p and edit it on iMovie, which apparently is coming to iPhone, which is pretty cool. The $5 app is not included on the phone. Right. You can do the basic video trimming like on the 3GS with the iPhone 4, but if you want the iMovie, you have to download it. And it's got transitions, effects, all that stuff. Actually, one of the other cool things about it is that just like taking pictures when you record videos, it checks your location and GPS, and some of the themes, like travel theme, yeah. will integrate your location so that it can show a map of where you were for the video. That is that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. But uh, those are some of the many of what Apple claims to be over 100 new features of the iPhone. And uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm looking forward to getting one of these things fairly soon and unboxing it for you guys. But uh, anyways, until next time, and I'm sure I can speak for James and Clash, yep. that uh, we really appreciate your view in this video. We'll see you next time.